Hello, welcome to another video on the channel. This is another one of those videos where you follow and learn how to draw a 3D model using FreeCAD. This is a 3D model that had already been drawn before using the old Sable version of FreeCAD. In this video, we will use more than the current Sable version of FreeCAD. We will draw the model using the developer version of FreeCAD. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. Let's go ahead and see how to design the model using the dev version of FreeCAD. Let's go. So the first thing that I'll do on the start page of FreeCAD is to create a new parametric part using the part design workbench. Pressing this option, it will create a new document with a part design body object in the tree view as we see here. Next, I will start designing this model by creating a cylinder for this part here. To create this cylinder, I will use a primitive shape. I will go to the part design active tools, these tools here, to add material to the document. And then I will click on this arrow to expand and I will find these all options here. And I will select active cylinder. As you see here, I have this cylinder. And next, I will press home on my keyboard and I will attach this cylinder on the XY plane by selecting this plane here. As you see here on the attachment, here we can see origin XY plane. It means that this cylinder is attached to the XY plane. Next, I will change the radius of this cylinder to 40 millimeters, like so, and also change the height to 35 millimeters. And now if I want to see the entire cylinder, I press home on my keyboard and here I have this. Now I press OK to finish this operation. And next I will create a fillet, as we see here, on this face here. To create a fillet, I can select this top face or I can select this edge. I choose to select this face here and then select the fillet tool, this tool here, this icon. And now I choose to change this radius here to 15 millimeters and then press OK to finish this fillet operation. Next here I will create a sketch on the XY plane for this part here. So how I do that? I go to the document and next I go to the grid sketch icon and I click on it and then I select the plane, the XY plane, this one here. Now I will switch to the session view, pressing this icon, and now I can see this. And here I am on the sketch workbench, as you see on the workbench later. And the first thing that I'll do is to create a slot geometry, selecting this tool, and then clicking on this horizontal axis, and now I will click here. And next, create this slot. Now I will skip this tool, and I will select this equal constraint and delete it and now as you see I can change the radius of these two arcs here by dragging these points. Now I want to full constrain this sketch here and to do that the first thing that I'll do is to constrain this and the point on the region axis. To do that I use the constraint constant this tool here and then I selected this center point and the origin axis. The next thing that I do is to select the dimension tool and then set the angle between these two lines here. I will set 25 degrees. Okay, and next I will click on this arc here and I will set the radius of 10 millimeters. And now I will set a distance from the region axis to the center point. To do that, I click on this point and next I click off here to create a horizontal distance. And this distance must be 45 millimeters and then I press enter. Now I skip two times to leave this sketch. Next I will use the pad tool to create an extrusion of this sketch. So I select this icon, the pad tool, and then I will change the length here to 18 millimeters for this extrusion and press OK and next here I will create a sketch on this face to create this cut here, this pocket. Okay, so I select this face here and then I click on the create sketch icon to create a sketch and now I zoom out here and zoom in and switch to the session view by pressing this icon. 
Now I go to the cycle tool on the sketch geometers and I select the tool and then I create a cycle on the horizontal axis and I set the cycle to 20 millimeters of diameter and here I have this. Next I select the dimension tool, I click on this center point and I create a horizontal distance of 45 millimeters from this origin axis to the center point of this cycle. And now I skip two times to leave this sketch and I select pocket tool. And the first thing that I do is to check this option to reverse the duration of this pocket. And next I change the type here to forego to create this. And next I press OK to finish this operation. And now what I will do is to create a fillet. I will create a this fillet here. To do that I select this edge. Or I can change the draw style to wireframe by clicking here and selecting this option. Or we can use this keyboard shortcut here, V3. So I select this option and next I click on this edge. And now I hold the control key and I select this edge also. And next I select fillet tool. And I change the radius to 5 millimeters and then I finish the operation. Now to go back to the flight line store style I press V2 or I can go to this icon and click here and select this last option flat lines and the next thing that I'll do is to create a pole array of these operations that I did here to do that I have to go to the model tab and here I have to start the selection exactly here on this pad if we select this fillet here and hit spacebar to make it visible, we can see that we still have the cylinder with the fillet. So I need to create a pole array starting from this pad here to this fillet operation. To do that, I have to select the pad, hold Ctrl key and select the pocket and the fillet, this last operation, and next select the pole array, this tool here, pole pattern. And as we see here, I have to change the number of occurrence to 3. To do that, we have to go to the task panel and on occurrence, change to 3. Now press OK and next I will create a thickness on this part here. If we go to this 3D model and rotate this, we can see that we have this thickness. This thickness, the size is 1.9 millimeters. And to do that on my document, I have to first rotate this model and select the bottom face, this face here, and then use the thickness tool of the parts and workbench. This tool here. So what I have to do here is to make this thickness outer words. To do that, we have to uncheck this option. Uh, next change the thickness to 1.9 millimeters. Let's see it on the drink page. As we can see here, we have a thickness of 1.9 millimeters. Okay, so next let's go to our document and finish this operation. And the next thing that I will do is to create a hole. These three holes here on these parts. To do that, I can select this face and then create a sketch on this face here. To change to the session view to series. And what I'll do now is to extract some edge of the solid to get the center points of this of this edge here. To do that, I have first to change my geometries to construction geometries and next select this tool and I will extract this edge and I have this in the point. I will do the same here and the same thing here. Now I will change to normal geometries and select cycle tool. Now I will create a cycle here on this center point and click off and the same thing here and the same thing here. Now I skip this tool and I select these three cycles and then I go to the dimension tool. I click on this arrow to expand these commands and next I will select constraint diameter and in this way I can set a diameter for these all cycles. So now I change here to 6 millimeters and then I press enter to finish this and as you can see now we have these all cycles with the same diameter 6 millimeters. Now I close the sketch and I select pocket tool to create the holes and as you can see here I have this. I don't need to change the length here because I have these holes without problems. Now I press ok here 
and next I will create a cylinder on this face here for this part here. I can use an additive cylinder tool available here on the additive tools. So what I have to do is to click on this icon. And the first thing that I have to do on this operation is to select a plane or a face for this cylinder. For the case of this cylinder, I will select this top face here, this one. So I click here on this face and as you can see, I have this problem. If I press OK, as you can see, I have this. Okay, so now I will go to the cylinder and set the correct measures. But also, if we select the cylinder, we can see that we have some we have some problems here. I recommend to avoid these problems. So now I will select the cylinder and delete the cylinder. And to create the cylinder, I will create a sketch on this face. So I select this face, and next I create a sketch on that face. And next I select cycle tool, I click on this origin axis and I create a cycle. Next I use the dimension tool to set a diameter of this cycle and I click off and set the diameter of 36 millimeters and then I press enter and I leave the sketch pressing this icon. To extrude the sketch I use the pad tool and I change here to 5.5 millimeters. And next I will create a fillet on this edge here, like we see on this 3D model, we have this fillet and the size of this fillet is 4mm, so I will select this face and next select fillet tool and change the radius to 4 and then press enter and here I have this. Next I will select this edge here and create a chamfer of 0.3mm. I select chamfer tool. And I change the size here to 0.3 millimeters and then I press OK to finish this. And next I will create a hole on this face here, like we see here. To create this hole, I will use the hole tool, this tool here. To do that, I have to select this face first and then click on the hole tool of parts and or bench, let's say 50, and the diameter change to 32 millimeters and then press home on your keyboard and you will see this. Let's press OK here to finish this operation and here we have the hole. And the next operation is to create one of these pockets here. Let me change to the top view and as we can see here we have these all pockets on this 3D model. So I will choose to start creating this pocket here. To create this, I will need a sketch on the top face of this solid. So I will go to the document and press home here and zoom in and select this face and then create a sketch on this face. And to create a geometry for this pocket, I can use the slot tool. So I will go to the sketch jumps tools and select slot tool, create a slot on the First call axis this slot and next I will use the constraint constant to constrain this point on this first call axis. Next I will select the dimension tool and start setting the dimensions of this slot. First I will start from these two lines here. I will set a distance of 2.5 mm. Okay, and I have two degrees of freedom now. Next I will set the distance from this center point to this Origin axis, I will set a distance of 28 millimeters. Okay, and now I have one degree of freedom, so I can constrain this line here to 30 millimeters. And the sketch is full constrained. To lift this, I press this icon and I press home now. And next, I will use the pocket tool to create the hole to create a pocket. Next, I will change the length here to 24.4 millimeters. And now I click off to see the result. And as you can see, I have this. Next, I press OK. And I have to change something on the sketch of this pocket here. I will go to the model and I will click on this arrow and double click on this sketch. And I have to change the, the distance of these two lines here. Double click here and set 5 millimeters. 
Skip two times to leave this sketch and now I have this as you can see. Next I will create another sketch but now in this time I will create on the axis plane. On that sketch I will create a cycle and then I will use that sketch to create this, this result here. This uh, small this small hole here as we can see. So I will go to the document and then I will create a sketch. This sketch I will create on the exit plane so I can go to here, this task panel and select exit plane. Double click here and now switch to the session view, no. And now go to sketch drums, change the geometries to uh, let's say construction geometries and then use this tool here and extract this edge. Now, Go to the session view and change these geometries to normal geometries and select cycle and create a cycle here. And this way, next use the constraint constant and constraint this point on this edge and now this point here on this cycle. And this is now full constraint. Skip two times to leave this sketch and next select pocket tool. First change here the type to frugal. And if we rotate this model, we can see that we have the hole here, and this is not what we want. So I will reverse this by checking this option, and here I have this. Now I press OK, and I finish this hole, this pocket. And the next thing that I will do is to create three occurrence of this pocket on this side here. To do that, I prefer to use the Multi-Transform tool, this tool here. I will show you how this tool works. So, I will go to my document and I will go to the model tip and I will select this pocket here and control this pocket and now click on the Multi-Transform tool. So now I go to the transformations and I make a right click here on mouse and I select 8 polar pattern option. And as you can see, if I change to the top view, I have these two occurs. But this is not what I want. So I will scroll down here. And the first thing that I will do is to change the angle to 60 degrees. Okay, and now if I click off, as you can see, I have this. Next, I will change the occurs to 3. And I have this. And this is not good. This is wrong. To fix this, I will check this option, reverse the duration. And now, as you can see, I have these three pockets here on the correct way. Now I'll press OK to finish this. And next, I will create a polar array of this operation on this 3D model here. To do that, I have to make a right click and select the same option, add polar pattern. And now, this time, I only need to change the number of occurrence to 3. Now I press OK and this is the final model. So thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like button and share this video with your friends. And also if you want to support the content of this channel, there is a link in the video description to the channel's Ko-Fi page. Or you can support the channel by the ebooks that is appearing on the screen now. The dream page of this 3D model you can find on the 200 3D exercise for FreeCAD 1.0 or more. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.